Now where the hell's he gone? You think I have to stack the cars to make a path to move? Okay, well let's try this. So much for the double click to get there instantly trick. It's not too bad. Which means we're going to have to put him down somewhere where we can get him again. Hang on. Right, so I'm going to drop him there. Right. Uh. Let's pile them up on that thing over there. I think that's... Unless I can just, like, uh, you know... It won't go any further if I can just lift it up a bit. Well, that would be out of the way, wouldn't it? Okay. Down one. Let's go down two. Just move them up the path. We'll get this one, and then those two out the way, and that car hanging up in the air, then we should be all right. Of course, it depends where the game wants me to move to. I'm assuming it's off that side of the screen, but uh, who knows? Right, I'm going to shift that one as well. Go on, get it out of the way. Right, take her up. Dump them on there. <laughs> I think my idea of tapping the dog under a pile of cars was still the best one. But alas, the game didn't think so. Get that one out of the way too. I'm just going to do all of these. Because I don't want to have to walk all the way back to this damn crane again. Right, where's it going to make me put this? Can't put it there. Let's go up the middle then. That'll do. And then let's get that orangey looking thing at the start. Left a bit. Put that up. <sighs> Splat. Right, now let's get this one, and then we can surely walk through the middle of this. right place there. There we go. Lift that up as high as it will go. And then maybe just lift it out of the way so I can walk underneath it. Right then. <laughs> Yeah, we'll dump it. We'll dump, we won't dump it, but we'll leave it hanging over there. That should be good. I can get through that, surely. If I can't get through this, he must have some space issues. There's me dog hanging in from his magnet up there, look. Yossi is triggered, I haven't colour coded it. <laughs> now that might be a challenge. He's already got issues with all vehicles that are motorcycles. I'd better get out of here. I'd better get out of here. I'd better get out of here. I 
Thought we had it sorted there, folks. Uh, junk. Uh, junk. Right, hang on, let me just see. Is, is there a an exit on the screen? Just just the one we came in at. So all that was for, unless it's up there, you don't think that's We'll take a look at that one. Uh, no. Junk. no, those are just background. I'd better things. get out of here. Yeah, I'd no, that's get, what we're I'd better to do. get out of here. I'd better get out of here. I think I'm gonna need something stronger than water to figure this out. I'd better get out of here. I'd better get out of here. You think he needs to search the piles out front? I'm not so sure about that. So we try and do this. All he says are, uh, "Ugh, cars." Cars. No, thank you. Can you see anything that looks like a bike? I know there's a hole cars. in the pit there. No, thank you. What's that? There's a parts pile. Go and have a look in the parts pile. That looks like where it should be. Just the kind of forks I need. Oh my right god! So what was the point of all the dog bollocks then? <clears throat> what the hell? Nice forks. Where'd you find them? Right next to the knives and spoons. Well, that's it. Wait outside for a minute and I'll finish you up. I'm working on a surprise. I hate surprises. It's... All right, here she comes. That dog didn't come into play until I walked into that thing to start with, and yet the pile part was right there. I'm sure I looked at that as well. Am I cool or what? You're amazing. I should crash that thing every day. So what's the surprise? Oh, just your average everyday pre-regulation destroyer class solid fuel recoil booster. You're serious? Yes. But only the vultures... I have my connections. Now, are you going to try this thing out or not? It's quite like the art style of this. I, camera. I wish I had some way of paying you back. Just beat it, will ya? You're scaring away my regular customers. Bye, Mo. Send me a postcard from the ambush. No, don't, don't crash this one now. I ain't doing that again. You recommend the glass of Glen Levitt. <laughs> I think our household is all out of strong liquor at the moment. I'm sure there's going to be a fight on the road. <laughs> all right, look lively. He's a sneaky one. This time he ain't getting past us. See him? Nope. Keep looking. It's like listening to the cast of King of the Hill. You've only got amaretto and Irish cream whiskey there. Pass on both of those things. Okay, so... Has anything else opened up? Oh. Yeah. The ambush is the other way. Well, yes we know. Wasn't this the way to the uh, the cops? Yes. Okay. Thank you. So what do we do? Go and set the alarms off again in the in that tower? Go go and talk to someone? It's not gonna let me go there, is it? The ambush is the other way. Nope. Okay, let's try setting the alarms off. Getting the cops. Right, great. You hear that? He's back at the gas tower. He's got a lot of nerve, that piece of trash. Let's <laughs> get him. Junkyard owner oh, yeah, might be away. 
I don't even want to talk to me. And then after I spoofed his face in with his door. Okay, quick. Let's go. You can have a police chase here. Or was it just that simple? <laughs> hey, chap, can we get some cheers? I just got a puzzle right on the first go. <laughs> yeah, Man, give me some fire emotes. I'm on fire. The suit. Corley's making a pit stop. For 10 he seconds. A bladder the size of a thimble, man. Rip burger. Haven't seen him in a while. Ben, man, what's the deal? Did you find something up the road? Are we headed for trouble? No. We're in it. Put my head in a basket Cause I'd had a thankful <laughs> When she blow my gasket I surely was thankful Till I head for the skies up above It's a woman Ooh, well. with wheels that I love Captain Bieber, yeah. thanks, for the, thanks for the cheer, thousand Come bits on, Sorry, when I, when I said cheers, I didn't I literally mean you. cheering bits I just no. meant... Yay, in chat, but uh, hey, thanks, that's awesome. Thank you very much. You're in shock, Pedro, yeah. I'm in shock too. Ooh. Caught on camera. Thump. You shouldn't have laughed at me in those board meetings, Malcolm. What a psycho. Gotcha. Hey, uh -oh. look what I found in the bushes. What is that? It's a chokehold. Come here and I'll demonstrate. It's got a camera. It's got a camera. I'll get her. No. Nestor will take care of her. Who's Nestor? You have an important engagement with the rest of the Corley family. Right. But don't forget to destroy that camera. Yeah, yeah. Now then, Malcolm. How about one for the road? Hmm. Corley. Corley. Uh-oh. Ben! He's not dead! <coughs> I guess Rip Berger couldn't wait for natural causes. Just like him to hit a man when his flies down. <laughs> <coughs> Rip Berger did this to you? Yeah, he knew I was dying, and he knew that my will would put him out of a job. He wants to take over Corley Motors, Ben. Sell it off to foreigners, lay off workers, start making minivans. You understand me? Minivans! Oh. <coughs> You gotta hurt him for me, Ben. Promise me you'll hurt him bad. I promise. <coughs> right. I want my daughter to take More over like the company. It. You have a daughter? Yeah, and she's a real mechanical genius, Ben. Rebuilt her first carburetor when she was four. Eh, I used to call her the diaper dynamo. Think we've met her. Find my daughter, Ben. Find Marine. Hmm. Marine? <laughs> there we go. Minivans over the humanity. <laughs> uh oh. Now, that's why she had that thing outside the shop. I did wonder earlier, didn't I? I did ask. Ahead of me. <laughs> I just hope Marine can handle herself until I get there. Oh, I think she can handle herself just fine. I understand. Why do you bring a camera? Who does this guy work for? Holy motors. Nestor, what's that moving over there by that pile? I don't know, Rip, but I think that pile is Bolus. <sighs> yes, now I remember. You're the smart one, aren't you? There's Mo's okay. shack, but I don't see the limo. Am I walking into a trap? Maybe I beat them. I think I'm walking into a trap. I think I'm going to get framed. Second thought. Maybe I didn't. Debris. Take a look. Looks like someone searched this place in a hurry. Nothing left but debris, except for that smashed up camera. Back's open. No film inside. Hmm. Mo said she didn't have a camera. Here's Mo's picture of her and her Uncle Pete at his mink ranch. She said she went there whenever she needed to get away for a while. That's pretty much my only lead right now. Right, okay. That guy in the car sounds like Brain from Pinky and the Brain. I haven't seen that uh, that show in years. Okay, we can't go in there, can we? We should have a look. I don't think there's anything... I guess we leave town. 
I might just go and check. But this guy's not woken up. Nope, okay. Right, let's get the hell out of here. Just have to go and get on the bike. Okay, and I'm guessing this way. So we need to go and find our Uncle Pete's mink ranch. I'll tell you what, they don't make games like this anymore. With the puzzles and stuff. Hello? What the hell's this? I wonder if this guy in here would know. We need to take a look at this. This sucker's mine. Really? Look, I really need a ride. Hey, killer. What? I'm gonna take hey, that. It's cool. Your secret's safe with me. What secret? Haven't you been watching the news? Once again, oh, our top story tonight, Malcolm Corley, owner of Corley Motors, was found dead at a rest stop just outside the town of Melonweed. Apparently, the benevolent patriarch and CEO was viciously beaten about the head and neck, savagely and without mercy. Police have arrested a notorious outlaw biker gang known as the Polecats. No, I knew With it. With the exception of their leader, who is still at large. Framed. Roadblocks have been set up along Highway 9 in an effort to apprehend this dangerous and violent criminal. We've been set up. Roadblocks suck. I shouldn't have left the gang there. Hey, I don't want to hear anything about it. You ain't making me an accessory after the fact. Just lay low, man. Okay, I don't suppose there's anything I can do in here. Why is there why is that monitor up there? The monitor doesn't have any controls. TV, no. And there's nothing to talk to. Maybe this guy. Look, let me tell you what happened. I told you I don't want to get involved. Let's do the old nose thing Look. again. Let me tell you what happened. Oh. I told you I don't want to get involved. Ah, oh, I thought he was going to pull on his nose ring again. Right, let's talk to this dude, Emmett. That's your truck out front. I need a ride. I look like a cabbie to you. Get lost. They're not letting anyone through that roadblock anyway. Not even truckers? They turned me around, said police business only. Pigs. Hmm. I'm gonna have a feeling I'm gonna have to beat him on these tests with that knife. Seem to have a lot of time on your hands. Not to mention Nixon scratches. <laughs> I see what he did there. Am I distracting you? <laughs> I just killed a guy. I'm just about to. <laughs> I don't think that's good for the table. Hey, Quahog. Yeah, Emmett? I'm gonna be knifing up your table for a while, all right? The customer with the knife is always right. <laughs> I'm trying to upset Look, him. I really need a ride. Not gonna happen. Why? Because you're afraid of some cops? No, because I don't like you. I can do that. Not gonna happen. Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna <clears throat> happen. Okay. Good talking to you. What we're gonna Friendly do? Folks you get in here. Em, it's not what you'd call an I'm okay, you're okay person. Ah, shut your hole, quo hog. What we're gonna do is this. He's got a knife. So? Kick him. Kick the chair away. He's got a knife. Do I have to sit at the chair? Do I sit at the table? Do I have to do it? Talk to him then. Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. Good talking to you. What do I have? I have a picture. Wait. A 
Ever hear of this place? Uncle Pete's Mink Ranch. Well, uh, I remember there used to be some sort of weasel plantation or, or something up the road. Down Highway 9 on the other side of them damn roadblocks. I used to pick up mink meat there real cheap and sell it to school lunch programs. <laughs> that was a good scam. Okay, so. He doesn't look happy. He doesn't. Let's go outside. Get on the bike. He wants to be driven to the back of this truck. Okay. Look, I really need a ride. <laughs> Look, I really need a ride. I go around the back of it. Aha. Uh -huh. Ben. What? Miranda. Psst. In there. Ben. No time to talk. You know, it's stank in there, but I can't remember a better sleep. You gotta help me. <laughs> Go find my editor in Corville. Tell him I took pictures of the Corley murder. You got pictures? Yeah, but some thug took my camera. So you don't have any pictures? Well, I tracked the guy to Melonweed, but I'm not going near the place. They kill me! Get my editor. He's gotta get me out of this. Take one of these fake IDs to get through the roadblocks. <laughs> she got enough. My career okay. is riding on those pictures. Help me, Ben. You're my only hope. Where have we heard that before? Oh, don't worry. I owe you one. If Miranda's thug is the same one that trashed Moe's place, that could be Miranda's camera I saw there. But then, who's got the film? Hmm, the plot thickens. Achievement unlocked. A new hope. I like the Star Wars references there. <laughs> uh, dumpster, give it a kick. Take that. Quit it! Okay, so we don't need his truck after all. I think that was just a red herring. Something's behind the bar, did he say? Get in there. There's a till. Uh, bottles. Ah, booze. Which we can't do anything with. Okay, we can ignore him. I'm going through that uh, that roadblock on the bike. I bet you need the truck since the cops are looking for a biker. Well, that's true, actually. Uh, yeah. Damn. I thought we had it sorted then. Okay, let's try talking again. Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. Is that a... Good talking to you. What's that at the back? It's a badger. Good thing that's a badger. Why? Because if that were a dead polecat, I'd have to trash the place. Can we take that? Its little feet are nailed to the piano. What about the antlers? Those might look good mounted on my handlebars. Nah. There's a picture? Take a look at the picture. Do these matter? This your pit bull? Nah, that's my baby picture. Cute. Another one? Same one? Whoa. Watch it, that's my sister. These are just cheap gags, aren't they? Fifteen guys with towels in their belts? My graduating class from bartending school. Of course, why not? Piano, come on, play the piano. Yeah, right. What's this? It's a big blobby gray shape. I was taking an art class. I quite like this bartender. That's one big fish. Yep. Right, is that it? Okay. Oh my god, is this another... What's that up there? A monitor. The monitor doesn't have any controls. Okay. Wait, unless I can buy some boot... I haven't got any money, of course. Look, 
Let me tell you what happened. I told you, I don't want to get involved. Trucker needs a way to get through the block before you can give him a ride. Does he need fake ID though? I think I need the fake ID. Here. What's that? Fake federal investigator ID. Could be of some use at one of those roadblocks. Okay, so he gets him through the roadblock. He does me a favor. So how about a ride? What if they search the back and find my bike? It's buried in a pile of concentrated fertilizer powder. Trust me, no one's gonna dig through that crap. Now you're gonna ride in the engine compartment. The engine compartment? Hey, I smuggle stuff in there all the time, and really? most of it's worth more than you. So stuff your carcass in there quick, and we might hit that mink dump by morning. Hope you're better with a stick shift than you are with a knife. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cheers for that, aren't you? I figured the idea was for me. Oh, great. Smells like he's got a fuel leak. I love engine fires. At least it's going to be warm in there. Sorry, sir. Only police vehicles be on this point. I'm with the feds, chump. Check it out. Huh? What's this about? Undercover agricultural <laughs> sting operation. What's in the back? Fertilizer. All right, move along. Hope you rude get your man. <laughs> Can't believe that worked. Killer Kia, one, two, three. What's this? The style of this reminds me of Monkey Island games. Very, very similar. It's called Full Throttle. Um, I think, is it? Um, it was 95, so that must be after the Monkey Island games. At least the first one. Pretty sure that was pre-95. It was. The two was as well. Problem with your truck? Uh, <laughs> loose holes and nothing big. Uh, I, I already pulled your bike out. It's sitting right mm. over there. Mm. Well, nice knowing you. Gotta hit the road, you know. He's done something. He's nicked something. Uncle Pete's mink run. Uh oh. Is it done by Lucas Arts Games? He did have a fuel leak, and he took my fuel line to yeah, fix it. Well, we, that we trucker's gonna die for what he did. Okay, that's a maybe a bit extreme, but um, I I don't think it's a Lucas Arts game. I haven't seen any Lucas Arts logos fly up, but it is very similar. All right, so there's clearly something to do here. Let's have a look at the big doors. The barn's locked. I don't have anything. Give it a kick. Open up, you minx. That work. We're going through the door then. Aha! Lock. Punch. I couldn't break that lock. Okay, so what we're gonna do? I don't is... have anything. Oh, do we not have the um, pick lock anymore? I don't have anything. I don't have anything. We literally have nothing anymore. Okay. Let's take a look at the pictures. Lots of bikes. All of them. Lots of bikes. Right. The pillow. Pick up the pillow. Never known a pillow might come in handy. Perfect. Tire iron. We're having that. We don't need to... and a banner. Hmm. No. Oh, that thing on the back. I see. What is it of? That's the insignia of the vultures. I can't believe Mo used to be a vulture. But then again, how else could she have gotten that recoil booster? Very true. Is that a mirror? Window. Take a look out. This must be the window Maureen stared out of as a young girl, dreaming of her life repairing toasters. A very dry sense of humor. What the hell is that? Pelt. 